Next, we'll talk about how we can record MIDI data into instruments and MIDI tracks in Studio One. And this is pretty easy to do. We're going to start off by creating a new track, just as we created an audio track. This time, we're going to create a MIDI track. We'll name this track MIDI. And then on the Type pull-down menu, we'll select Instrument, because we're going to create an instrument track. There is a confusion every once in a while that an instrument track is an audio track, because we record instruments. But an instrument is a MIDI track, a musical instrument digital interface track onto which we record digital note data. And that's just something to keep in mind, common misconception. So I'm going to drag and drop a virtual instrument onto my track that I have created. And I can do that from the instruments browser in the browser on the right hand side. And now I'm going to zoom in, take a look at the track inspector. And if I click on the output section of the track inspector, you'll notice that the output of this track is being sent to the Mai Tai virtual instrument that I just dragged and dropped onto this instrument track. Now I can add more virtual instruments by dragging and dropping another virtual instrument, a plugin, onto some empty space in my Studio One song. This will create yet another track. And a virtual instrument is simply an instrument which is a digital instrument. And that digital instrument can have MIDI data sent to it, which will then play notes, sounds, effects, and uh, other material out of the instrument. So now looking at the second track that I've created, you'll notice that the output of that second track is being sent to the Mojito uh, virtual instrument, which Studio One comes with. And I could also send the output of that second MIDI track also to the Mai Tai virtual instrument that I had pr uh, previously created. Now the reason for this is that I can send MIDI data from multiple tracks into the same virtual instrument. And why would I want to do this, you may ask. The reason I would want to do this is because some virtual instruments will allow me to receive multiple MIDI tracks and multiple uh, MIDI data streams from one track into the same instrument. And I can see all of the instruments that are loaded into my Studio One song by looking at the instrument section of my browser on the bottom left hand corner. And in this virtual rack of instruments labeled instruments, I will see all of the virtual instruments that I have loaded into my Studio One song. Each of these instruments can have MIDI data sent to them from multiple MIDI tracks. This allows me to be more efficient about my workflow because I can load one virtual instrument and use that virtual instrument for multiple MIDI tracks, which I will send MIDI, da MIDI data from and into that instrument. So now with my virtual instrument loaded in my Studio One song, I can hit record on my transport and start playing. And there we go, I've recorded some MIDI data into my Studio One song from my MIDI controller that I'd previously set up, which of course you can check out our video on how to do that as well. Now if I double click on the region which was created when I was recording that data, it looks like just a blue bo box in the arranger with some white lines in it, but when I double click on it, I'm going to see all the MIDI data that I just recorded. I've got a virtual keyboard on the left hand side which shows me which notes I've played, and the grid allows me to see where those notes sit. I have access to all of my editing functions, and we'll talk about making use of those in a future video coming up so you can see how to edit that MIDI note data. Today's Pro Audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your Pro Audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.